why are you here? And the main reason that you are here is because you don't want to be average, right? Average is the enemy. Mediocracy is the enemy. Complacency is the enemy. We want nothing to do with that, especially because as technology improves, as standards of living improve, masculinity and the definition of average when it comes to masculinity continues to decline. What's so frustrating about the state of the world that we're in is we, as average or slightly above or even well above average men, in a lot of regards, even 50 years ago, would have been below average. That standard of masculinity continues to decline. Now what's great about that for us is that's subjective, right? I don't have to compare myself to or compete against the men of 100 years ago, and neither do you. So as that standard continues to decline, it becomes even easier to rise above and to no longer be average, right? So that should be encouraging. We should be able to take heart from that. But average is the enemy. Mediocrity is the enemy. We're here to kill that complacency and to become even better than that. This is average when it comes to appearance, right? This is what average looks like. And there's a story about mediocrity and average that we tell with our clothing. What all of this says, now yeah, you could set Bruce Campbell aside, especially in burn notice, right? But what all of this says is I don't care that my top priority in life is feeling comfortable. Now, I don't know at any other point in, in any society, any civilization in history, and anywhere in the world where masculinity was defined by the pursuit of comfort. I, nothing. Men have never been defined by our desire to be comfortable. Why in the world do we think that the only masculine approach to clothing is, it's gotta be comfortable. It's totally antithetical to what our MO as men is and what our MO as men should be. Now that's not to say comfort is not a good thing, but if comfort is your God, if you worship at the altar of comfort every single day, you will never be better than average. And if one of your rituals of worship to the God of comfort every day is putting on average clothing, you're worshiping that God. and You will never be better than average. If this is the story that you tell yourself every single day, you will never be better than average. Now it's just clothing, it's just what we put on our body, but it's obviously so much more than just clothing because it tells a story. And it doesn't just tell a story to the rest of the world, but it tells a story to us. Every time you see yourself in the mirror, you're being told a story. Every time you catch your reflection in the window of the subway or in the window of a car, you're being told a story. And I want that story to not be the story of average, right? So the question then becomes, why don't we dress better?